life is here again. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. everybody join us. Yes. Everywhere they say, ah. where the truth is being said or yes. told. As it is, fact of life is a delicious don't miss oh. it. Social talk, political talk, entertainment, religions, humanitarian, and charitable affairs across the Of life is here again for everybody. Fact of life with Abilicious is a must for everybody every Wednesday by 7 30 pm at live on Facebook and on social media platform. Fact of life where the truth is being said or told as it is. Presenter is Abi Ujo every Wednesday by 7 30 pm on issues from political, social, religious, entertainment, humanitarian, and charitable affairs across the globe is discussed and aired live with special guests every week my people don't miss it at all we would like to advertise and promote your product businesses services works events or shows on fact of life with abilicious program kindly get in touch our rates are reasonable and affordable contact us on fact of life with abilicious at gmail.com fact of life with abilicious is a must for everybody uh, the Jeremy Beron family and the Ajayi families felt it was appropriate to hold this event today so they could thank everybody who had come from far and near to celebrate this holy matrimony of their children. So they thank you from the bottom of their hearts like we will say in uh, Nigeria. So you are welcome. My name is uh, Dele Jegede, all the way from Maryland in the USA, and my co-anchor today. I'll let her introduce herself. There you go. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming for the fantastic brunch that we're having for this lovely couple, Omolola and Samuel. And um, my name is Abi Ojo. I host a program called Facts of Life with Abilicious. I am here, honorably, to be anchoring with this my fantastic brother next to me. So we're going to just, you know, give you guys a little bit of a ride and go by outside. And um, they will be dancing their way in. So hopefully. It's taken. Okay. Yes, the bride and groom are going to be dancing with their family. So stay tuned, guys, and let us give them the honorable welcome as they dance, looking fantastic in the Yoruba um, attire. Are they coming in? Thank you. This is that day that the Lord has made me. That the Lord has made me. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'll be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Blessed the Jora. Jesus is my Lord. Blessed the Jora. Oh, 
It's unbelievable the amount of love they showed us. I mean, the amount of caring they've given us. So the next, I know you are, you are eagerly, all eagerly awaiting the bride and the groom, but we'll hold out for a little moment. The next group of people that are gonna come in are the Foster's family. So the grooms, brother, sister, you know, family, they, they're gonna come in. So bear with us. All right, Mr. DJ. Do 
Okay, oh, yummy. Yeah. Sorry, why we are getting to put more power into the microphone. So, uh, thank you, everybody. You are lovely in welcoming Lola and Sam. The very newly minted Mr. and Mrs. in town. Thank you for all of you. What a lovely couple. You saw the move Sam was making. And uh, you learn a little bit more about him later on because he had he's had a good taste of Nigeria, you know, for you know a couple of years. Just a taste. Just a little taste. <laughs> Yeah, but you did well, right? You know. So, uh, without much ado, thank you for having patience. Uh, we kick this off. We're gonna kick this off as we always do back home with a prayer uh, before everything we put the pause. So, I'm gonna be calling on Professor Pastor. Remy, I give her one to give us the open prayer. Praise God. Uh, please uh, let's honor God. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. This is the day you have made, and we rejoice in it. We thank you, Father, that you are the one that ordained. You said before we are formed in our mother's womb, you've already known us, and your purpose for us is of good, not of evil, to bring us to an expectant end. We thank you for this new couple. We thank you, God, for their parents that have already, the day they have made, you've already ordained that day. And we thank you, Father, for the good weather. We thank you, God, that everyone that has come, they've come there safely. And when they are going, they will go back safely. Amen. We also commit the new couple unto you, O Lord. You are the one that ordained the institution of marriage. We pray that you'll be with them. Amen. You guide them and you protect them. Amen. Father, when the time comes for them to have kids, you order them children in the right way, Lord. Amen. Thank you, God, for each and every one of us. Those of us that are praying for the good things like this, Father, we will get it in Jesus' name. Amen. Once more, we cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. Amen. The food that we are going to eat, Father, we cover it in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Father, bless it. Amen. And let your name be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Adibel. Uh, he is, uh, in a way, you know, like I explained to the foster family, in, in Africa, <coughs> we don't just go by the nuclear family or the people that are closest to them. Families could be several degrees of separation. Uh, Professor Gibewa is uh, one of Lola's uncles. Several degrees of expression. So, thank you very much. Uh, again, like I said, this event <coughs> is to thank everybody who had come from very near and very far away. Two nights ago, we were kind of doing a little polling at the hotel to see who had come <coughs> from the fathers. I joke with the young people that, oh, I must be the one that's traveled from the father because I traveled eight hours to get to London. And there's a young lady that said, no, you couldn't be. I came from Los Angeles, it took me 11 hours plus to get here. And somebody said, no, 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 you couldn't be one. I came from Colombia in South America to get here. So people have come from very, very, very far away to make it here. And uh, we had a lovely day yesterday. We're going to have a very lovely day. So, 
without much ado, I am going to, you know, if you don't mind, do another introduction. General Jembewon and Mrs. Mudupe Jembewon, I'm sure, are no strangers to a lot of us. They are the parents of the lovely bride, Omolola. Okay, now Mrs. Lola Samuel Foster. Right? <laughs> so, you will need to start calling her Mrs. Foster. <laughs> right? With your permission, sir. <laughs> and uh, I also have to make a mention of the family of the Ajayis. Mrs. Uh, Chief Mrs. Mudupe Jembe on the last mom was Ni Ajayi. Uh, the parents are late, and I'm a little partial to that family because my wife is from that family. So indulge me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so the Ajayis are very well represented, even though the matriarch and the patriarch of the family are not here with us, with us today because they have gone ahead to join our good lord, Chief John Ajayi and Mrs. Mary Ajayi. I'm sure they are here with us in spirit. Very, very lovely people. I couldn't have wished for better news. So, uh, I'm sure you are looking down and smiling on us, smiling on you, Lola. Uh, I know they are with us here today. And then, from Mommy Ajayi's family, are the Olayemis. And uh, we, we cannot but recognize the person who today is a patriarch of the Olayemi family in the person of Chief Valentine Olayemi. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, if you... Yeah, yeah. yeah, so on our side, you can see you are meeting people from, you know, sides of the family and people who have one influence or the other on the raising of our beautiful daughter, Omolola. Okay. On the foster side, you have Ian, for those of you who haven't met him, what a wonderful dancer. In fact, if you keep dancing like that, when you come to Nigeria, we'll give you a chief dancer title. And make you a chief. <laughs> And then, the young man who stole Lola's heart, or shall I say, the young man whose heart Lola stole. <laughs> Captain Samuel Forster, okay. Uh, you should have seen him yesterday with uh, his military uniform looking very dapper and the, the best part of you know the, the the military thing i enjoyed was when the swords came up on the bride and groom as they walked out of the song he was lovely he was lovely thank you samuel okay okay yeah you may have to repeat the same thing you said yesterday okay? because at the end of the whole event you don't believe it, Samuel gave all this long thank you. Guess what? In Yoruba. Wow! Are you ready for that again? I'll give you some time. Yes, to get the courage. And they say, you know, you can't grow bad fruits from good trees. Neither can you grow good fruits from bad trees, okay? So, this young man, I had met him a few months ago in the United States because he came into my house with Lola one evening and yeah, okay, Sam, how are you? You know, welcome. 
He said, I have come to know how to make jollof rice. <laughs> <laughs> so my wife spent the whole afternoon. I don't cook very well. I don't cook very well. I cook. My wife wouldn't allow me. <laughs> my wife spent the whole afternoon teaching Sam how to make jollof rice. Because you know what? A lot has got to eat jollof rice. <laughs> In fact, we're going to teach you how to make banana yam and fufu <laughs> and a goosey soup and all your and bakery soup. <laughs> <laughs> and I must say, Sam is a very Like I said, you cannot have good fruit from that tree. It's not possible. Sarah, oh my goodness. I just met her two days ago when we came into town with, you know, parents of the of the bride and everybody else, the family. They invited us to their house for an afternoon. Oh my God, we had a blast! Endless food, endless drinks, endless love. Incredible! It was incredible. Thank you very much, and thank you. The foster family, okay, for re receiving us so well. That is Miriam in the middle. Sam's <laughs> younger sister. Welcome to Amen Estate. Oh yeah, let's talk on the matter. Amen. You see the light never blink when you act. Everything clean and proper. Amen. And there's no place better. No. Amen, safe and secure. Now you know. Uh, yeah. Everything safe and secure. When you didn't find anywhere where they show. Amen. Even if you're from abroad. Amen. Amen, a state you should call. Amen. Always the baggage you show. So. Go tell your sister and your brother. Tell your friends and family they happy not. Amen. So don't get left behind. Amen, a state you will find peace of mind. Uh, yeah. Safe and secure. Everything safe and secure. Welcome to Amen Estate, brought to you by Red Brick Homes International Limited. I Ma jo 
Alibaba. <laughs> Take Lamp Cargo Limited, number one cargo company that is trustworthy, reliable, and fast. Cargo handling, freight forwarding, shipping agent, specialist to West Africa, boat cars, household goods, commercial goods, industrial machineries, boxes, containers, lorries, trucks, custom clearance, remover and relocation. Take Lamp Cargo Limited, do it fast, secure, and reliable. We import and export. We render services to make customers happy to business with us today. Call this number 0207 27761 or 07956578264 or email that damn cargo limited at aol.com or come directly to our office unit 62 white post street london southeast 15 one day are that damn cargo limited fast secure and reliable for sure ah. that damn cargo is here for me Is here again. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. everybody join us oh. every Wednesday. Oh. Where the truth is being said or yes. told as it is. Fact of life.